Today's video is all about how to aim like Tens, who is one of the best Valorant players in the entire world. Now, if you want to learn how to aim like one of the top 1% of players in Valorant, then today's video is made for you. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get started. Now the first step in Tenz's routine, his warm-up slash practice routine, is an aim trainer by the name of AimLab. Now if you haven't heard of AimLab, like I said, it's an aim trainer. It has a bunch of drills, aka game modes, that you play that practice your aim and the various aspects of your aim. So there's one that practices your flicks, there's one that practices your tracking, etc, etc. This is AimLab. Now this is the aim trainer that Tenz uses, like I said, uses this on stream all the time. So if you want to practice like Tenz, this is the one you're going to use. Before you launch anything, go to the bottom here and click on settings. And then here we can go audio, change the audio settings if you want. You can change the graphic settings. But the main one we want to focus on is controls. Now, under game profile, you're going to want to click Valorant because, again, we're training our aim to get better in Valorant. But as you can see, there's a whole list of games here that coincide with aim. So if you want to practice your Minecraft aim, you can do that. I'm sure you can practice your Call of Duty aim. There's Counter-Strike as well, Call of Duty, like I said, Apex Legends. There's a bunch of different things that you can practice within aim labs, but we're going to use our Valorant sensitivity. So I'm going to click on the Valorant game profile. I have my Valorant sensitivity here. For field of view, I have it at 103. When I Googled Valorant field of view i got 103 as a value as a google result so there it is 103 my ads sensitivity i don't really ads in aim labs so that's not very important i don't really use a controller so these settings aren't important but if you do use a controller for whatever reason take a look at those as well if we move over to crosshair now i have my crosshair to look like my crosshair in valorant there's a preview here on the right hand side so i can adjust the settings to my liking but once you change your settings to what you prefer you're going to want to click on training and here you'll be greeted by the suggested training tasks. Now this should be on your front. You should look for this one here, specifically grid shot. But if you can't find grid shot, click on tasks and it should be here again, grid shot. It's under the featured. If it's not there, it should be under skills maybe, flicking. You should be able to find grid shot. It's right there. But the reason why we want to play grid shot is because this is going to be your bread and butter. This is going to be the game mode where you're going to spend the majority of your time. As tens, that's what he does with the majority of his time. He spends it in grid shot. If you don't know what grid shot is, let me show you real quick. But grid shot, there's going to be three balls on your screen and your main goal is to shoot as many balls as possible. When you shoot one, it will be replaced by a different ball as you can see. So your main goal is to just go from ball to ball. Now, when you first start out, take your time, don't rush. Try not to set a world record right away because you're gonna be over flicking. You're gonna flick too far or not far enough. And by constantly practicing that bad movement, we are reinforcing bad habits into our muscle memory. And that's not what we wanna do. So go slow, make sure your aim is on point. And then once you start to get comfortable, once you're not missing, then pick up the pace and then keep doing that over time and slowly but surely you'll be like me or tens as we are one and the same. In fact, as you can see, this is me going at about, I'd say 90%. The only reason I'm not going 100% is because I can't talk and focus at the same time. My brain is not big enough for doing two things at once, but this is me at about 90%. I'll show you this in comparison to tens going at about 100%, I would say. Maybe a little bit less because he doesn't want to try too hard on his stream because that looks kind of corny. Again, as you can see, we're about one of the same. So that's grid shot. Practice that more than anything. And once you want to move on to another task, a good one is spider shot. Now this one's kind of like grid shot where you're going to be working on your flicking accuracy and your spatial awareness. However, this one's a little bit different where a ball will spawn on one of the outside edges here. And then the second ball will always spawn back in the middle, as you can see with this video preview. So you're going to flick out and then come back to the middle, flick out, then come back to the middle. And this again will help with your flick accuracy and all that good stuff. Again, I'll show you a quick little preview of what that looks like here. And the final one I want to show you, this one is very important as well. And this one is strafe track. Now this one is very simple. This ball will go back and forth on your screen and you just have to simply keep your crosshair on that ball as it strafes back and forth. Now, obviously this is to simulate an enemy running across your screen in Valorant as they run and gun you with their phantom or whatever. But all you got to do, keep hold down the mouse button, shoot this ball while looking at the ball like so. 
Practice your strafe accuracy. Again, this is if an enemy is running across your screen. This is you shooting that enemy. Now, those are the three main drills that TENS uses. Therefore, because I want to be like TENS, those are the three main drills I use. But as you can see, there's a variety of drills here. There's a bunch of different skills you can work on. Once you spend about, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes in aim labs, getting your aim right, either warming up or practicing, now we can hop into Valorant and work on our aim in Valorant. All right, so now that you spent some time in aim labs, you're nice and warm, let's launch competitive. I'm kidding, that's not what we're doing. Instead, the first thing we're gonna do is go to the practice tab and go to the shooting range. Now, the reason why we're going to the shooting range is because we need to work on our aim in Valorant. Yeah, we spent some time in aim labs, maybe even spent some time in Kovacs, so and now with that aim trainer juice flowing, you're feeling ready to go. But first, let's get reacquainted with the Valorant system, the Valorant engine, your sensitivity and settings in Valorant. First thing that Tens does when he gets into the shooting range is he just does strafe shots. So he'll counter strafe, like this. And this is just to get used to the Valorant movement. This is to get used to the Valorant settings once again. Your sensitivity mixed in with movement like this, because this is gonna be something you'll do a lot in game. You're not gonna be standing still the whole game getting kills like you are in aim labs like this. After he does this for a little bit, he'll then practice his flick accuracy by doing the flick trainer. I have it on medium. Tens likes to do it on hard because he's just better than me. If you want to do it on hard, that's fine. I like doing it on medium, obviously, because it's a little bit easier. And again, I don't want to be practicing me flicking and missing and just reinforcing those bad habits into my muscle memory as I flick and miss <laughs> regardless. Now, it's worth noting that you can do this in two different ways. Now, I'm doing it in a stationary stance, which is fine. Another way you can do this is by also doing strafing like this. In fact, I think I've seen Tens do this as well, where he'll move and flick with his movement. Now, another thing Tens likes to do, which is kind of strange, but he'll turn on strafe and then he'll just like come back here and he'll kind of just pretend to be a bot. It's weird. I don't know why he does this, but he just does this for like five minutes. But with that being said, that is all the time I have for today. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching. All your support is greatly appreciated. If you made it up to this point, I just want to take a second to remind you, if you liked today's video, make sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, if you have anything to say about today's video, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'm going to get going. I hope you guys enjoyed. I ought to say now, stay safe. And remember, every day above ground is a good day.